Hello and welcome back. I'm Marty D. Donovan. I'm, well, I'm known as the Broadcast Ninja. Not sure why. Today, I want to show you how to set up an encoder. Yes, if we look up here in the top right, uh, in this system that I have set up here for my, on my, I'm on my, I have a test computer at the moment. And if we look at this system up here where the mouse is running at the top left, you can see some encoders. Now, if you were to set up your own encoder, uh, you would go to a, you would get your stream uh, from your streaming company. Um, if you are looking for a stream, uh, I have a link below, which will do you a great deal. Um, but that being said, um, what we are looking at here today is setting up your own stream. So uh, I'm going to show you if I was to set up this, like, say, for example, say this stream here, if we go and have a look at it, um, we can see it's got 96 bits per minute. It's stereo. It's auto server details. Uh, it's a shoutcast server. It's version one. Uh, the difference between version one and version two, version one, you can only have one stream. Uh, version two, you can have multiple streams. Uh, that's another another video, another time. Here's the IP. You will get that from your um, server, your stream provider, and you will get a port from your stream provider. And of course, you'll get a password as well, which will ena enable you to... Um, to use your stream obviously and over here um, you would put your radio station name the genre if you have one a website if you have one and uh, this this goes back in the days of IRC and I ICQ I don't know if you remember any of those programs and uh, and in and messenger as well um, and it enables you to list your your stream on a public stations listing, which is great because it gets picked up by the shoutcast systems and enable title streaming, which means if we look here, um, the L will show the artist, the title, the album art and all the bits and stuff that comes with it down down here. That allows you to do that. It's a shoutcast server down here. It's 96 kilobytes per second. Um, I have some listeners who um, have limited data on their phones. Uh, and so rather than broadcast a high data stream, which is going to take up all their data to play one song, uh, I, I cut it down to the cusp of decent sounding sound. And that's 96 kilobytes per second. That'll be a bit like FM radio, if you're listening to FM radio. Um, it's not CD quality, uh, but it's decent quality. It's not on that medium wave, uh, wavy sort of sound. It's stereo, automatic, um, auto start the encoder after five seconds, which means if the auto, if the stream drops, it will wait five seconds, then it will try to reconnect to it again. You you can have that, or I, I don't have that. Um, I don't don't worry with that. Um, and then allow scripts in the stream. Uh, if I want to allow scripts in the stream, which means they broadcast a strict a script, which will then enable uh, something to work. Something a bit like if it was Alexa, I can automatically turn your Alexa volume up. Um, but it, it's not that. It's nothing to do with Alexa. Um, <laughs> so you've got your server type. It depends who you're with. Is it Shoutcast? Is it Live 365? Is it Icecast? Uh, you have the IP number. You'd put that in. You would have the server port. That would go in here. Here's the password they give you. Hopefully, they'll give you the bit rate, uh, and then you'll know that goes there. Over here, you can be 128 is the is the norm. That's where everyone tends to be. Um, some people are up on 192 because sound quality is what's important to them. Um, and uh, we're down here in 96. Uh, that's strictly because, I'd, like I say, I like to keep the, the streaming rate down. So you're not, they're not using as much of their internet to listen to the music. And um, it, yes, it's, it, it's a dividend which goes on quality, but the quality isn't that much. Uh, that you would turn off um, be because of it. And then over here, you I think called Stream Archive. Now, what, what that is, is um, uh, let's let's say you've 
you've started, uh, let's, let's start up a new stream. So if I say add a new one, it comes over here. Now, the first thing it asks you is what plugin, what plugin are you going to use? What are you going to use? Um, well, I go over here to MP3. OK, uh, it's got a great name, Lame Encoding. I think that's so cool. Uh, MP3 is where I'm going to go. WMA. I'm not going to run that because uh, the music I play is MP3s. I'm playing MP3s. Uh, do you want to go in OGG, uh, Vorbis? No, I'm playing MP3s. So uh, I'm going to go to MP3 lane. Whatever you're playing, you might be playing AAC. Um, you might record in AAC, very good quality. Um, uh, if that's the case, that's where you that's where you click. But I'm playing MP3. And I say OK, and then it throws this window up here, and this is the window we've just looked at. Um, I would tell it 96 bits uh, stereo sampling. Yeah, over here, I would tell it's version one. I put my IP in, I put my port in, I put my password in, I put my station name in, my genre if it's there, my website. I won't, wouldn't worry about any of these. You could take these out if you want. Um, I'm not sure where they transmit or where they send their information, but you don't need to have them in. Uh, list on publics, yes. Enable title in, yeah. I, I, I don't mind if you know what the name of the song is. Uh, some people turn that off. They don't want you knowing. They just want you listening. <laughs> sort of defeats the, uh, the way. But what I want to show you here is, you hear it says no server. It could be shoutcast. Uh, it could be live 365 or it could be icecast. But here it says no server. And you would use that if you want a stream where you can record your show, where you could just do a show and it will automatically record. So you say no server and it says with this option selected, the data will not be streamed to any streams, uh, but it's usually used on the stream archive so that the audio is simply saved to disk without having the need to stream content. Now, uh, what I would say about that is... Um, is go to stream archive, say save stream to file, and then tell this where to go to record it. If you, the, your best bet is if you've got an external hard drive or a hard drive which is just away just for music, uh, you can direct it to there and tell it a new file for each session. Um, and um, that way you can save your show automatically it will play everything as if it's playing over a stream except it will just record uh, and not go over stream and then you can save that if you're recording it for a show that you want to send off to syndicate on different radio stations then that's what you would do uh, you would do it that way but that is how you um, start and set up your encoder I do hope that's been of help to you. I am the Broadcast Ninja. You can leave a comment if you so desire. But for that, I thank you. And I'll be back very soon with another video about Sam Broadcaster. Have fun.